Hello everyone, my name is William and I'm an application engineer for Go Engineer. Today I'll be talking about precise positioning inside of Arctic Studio 18. Most people refer to this process as alignment to the origin. So whether you're going to reverse engineer a part or send a mesh to another software, it's always best practice to align it to the origin. So what I have here is a control valve that I scanned with our Artec Leo. This was just outside of our building. And although we don't need any texture for this process, I thought it'd be really cool to have the texture on just so you could see the amount of detail we're able to pick up with the Artec Leo. And if I zoom into this sticker, you can see that the lettering is very, very precise. So to align this to the origin, we need references. And for that, we can go to the Construct tab and decide what entities we want to extract. You can see we can create a cylinder, cone, sphere, planes, and even a torus. Because of the geometry of the control valve, I should be able to align this to the origin with just a cylinder and two planes. So I'll go ahead and click on cylinder. And I'll zoom in. I have lots of options. I can choose this cylindrical area. I can choose this cylindrical area. I have plenty of options here, especially because the part is based off of the same axes. And Arctic Studio has a really cool tool that allows me to expand my selection. So for example, if I hold control and I click on this area here, you'll see that the software is actually going to expand my selection. And to manipulate that sensitivity, you can grab this bar and move it left or right to add or remove from your selection. In this case, I'm just going to hold control and click the bottom portion here. And if I rotate my part, you'll see that I was able to get the majority of that cylinder. And that's all I need. I'm going to go ahead and fit a cylinder there. And once I start creating these features, they show up on our feature tree here. You can see I have cylinder one. And that essentially takes care of my origin. Now I need a couple planes to establish a Z, X, and Y axis. For that, I'll click on the plane tool. And I left the wall on this part because I wasn't able to take the control valve off. It was bolted to the wall. But I want that to be essentially the bottom of my part or the Z-axis. So I'm going to go ahead and hold control and click on the wall. And as you can see, the software also expanded my selection there. All I have to do is click on Fit Plane. And the software will best fit a plane for me. And it also shows up on my feature tree. And that will essentially take care of my origin and my Z-axis. Now all I need is a plane to establish either a X or a Y axis. It doesn't matter which one. And for that, I also have plenty of options. I could choose the top of this electrical box. Uh, there's a couple flanges, uh, one on each side of the part that I could use. We're really just using this plane as a direction for the Y or X axis. So to make things easy, I'll just go ahead and select the top of that electrical box. And you can see that the software also expanded my selection there. And I will also fit the plane. Now that I have my references, I can align this to the origin. For that, I'll go into the editor, click on precise positioning. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the cylinder and move that to the origin. And you can already see that the software starts to move the origin. However, I'm not done. So I'm going to click on plane one and make that my XY plane, meaning the Z axis. And you can see that the Z axis is going outside of the part. If I want to reverse that direction, I can click on this button right here. And now the Z axis is going into the part. Now the last thing to do is select my X or Y axis. So for plane two, I can select either the X or the Y axis. In this case, I'll select the Y axis. And I could always flip this as well. And if I rotate to the back, you can see that the origin is exactly where I want it. And if you accidentally selected something that you didn't want, you can always reset the alignment and do it again. But that's how easy you can align a mesh to the origin using Arctic Studio 18. Thank you for watching.